right there. Perfect. Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox the Makita Brushless Motor XPT 36 volt reciprocating saw. Now this is a kit. Uh, this uh, comes with two 5 amp hour batteries, a tool bag. I do not know if a blade comes with it and the tool itself. And I believe a, a, a speed charger. So we're going to unbox this, take a look at the specs and test this out. Let the batteries charge and see what this could actually do. And in the future, we are going to uh, have this go against the Milwaukee Super Sawzall. So I guess this, oh, nope, it is not all in the bag. All right, so we get a big bag. Get a large bag with this. Uh, this is approximately uh, approximately 22 inches, 21, 22 inches uh, long bag. It comes with a catalog. Ooh, wow! Alrighty. So this comes with the dual tra uh, charger. Very nice. And yes, it is a speed charger. We're going to test this out, see if it charges them both at once or if it waits one or the other. But we will see. Wow, I did not know that this came with a dual charger. Very good. Very good. The model number for the charger is DC18RD. Two port multi charger, charges two batteries. Uh, 120 volts at 50 to 60 hertz, 50 to 60 hertz uh, at 460 watts. After that, the box is pretty much empty. Now, this thing is awesome. Yeah, I'm going to assume the batteries are dead. Yes, they are. It does have a hook, which, wow, this thing is, this thing's beefy. I like the trigger. The trigger on that is very easy, and you could use two th uh, two fingers on it instead of just one. You have plenty of space for two fingers. All right. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna put this on charge, put these two on charge, and see how long it takes for them to charge them from absolutely dead. All right. It is 1:57 p.m. right now. I am gonna see how long these take to charge. That's one. All right, they both charge at the same time. Very good. Alrighty, so the model number for this is a X, uh, XRJ06. Uh, two speed settings, I guess, because it says. All right, so for this, the lock is in the middle. All right, so people are used to doing that to unlock it or the other way. All right, so the white bar in the middle is lock. The bar on the like uh, the white bar that goes to the bottom that's speed 1 and that's speed 2 so that's how that works but very good so two speed settings uh first speed goes to 0 to uh 2300 stro stro uh, strokes per minute and then the speed 2 goes to 3000 strokes per minute uh i do not know what the stroke length is i'll put that in right now and so yeah, this thing is this thing's awesome. I love Makita. I love uh I love Makita. So yeah, we're gonna let those batteries charge up and we are gonna see how long they take. Alright, so that this charger did charge them both at the same time. Uh both five amp hour batteries, they both are full. About an hour and ten hour and twenty minutes for both charge uh, both batteries to be fully charged. So that's actually not that bad. Alrighty, so first we are gonna test out uh two uh two by four. See how this is. Now this uh the Makita, this Makita looks beefy. All right, so is this easy lock in? It's a unique one. You just push it in. Ooh, ooh, I like that. All right, so to release it, you just do that, and to put it in, that's it. You just push it in, and it slides in. That that's awesome. All right, we have a Milwaukee uh. The axe blade brand new. 
We are going to try this on speed one first. Speed one. Let's see how well this performs. All right, so we have two uh, five amp hour batteries on there. Battery is full, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. All right, so that is speed one. Let's try speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so let's rotate this. All right, we're gonna go to speed one. All right, so ready, go. Very good. I do not see an orbital feature on uh, on this. I do not see an orbital feature at all. all right, so let's go to speed two. Ready, go. All right. All right, so let's switch over to a four by four. All right, so we are going to try this out on speed one first. Let's see how well it does cutting a four by four. Pressure treated. Pressure treated four by four. All right, so ready, go. All time. That is speed one. All right, let's do speed two. Batteries are still full. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. That is it. Yeah, but I don't know what that is. That is some cake. There we go. I don't, like that stuff, I don't know what that is. We are gonna use the uh, six inch, 18 uh, teeth per inch blade. Oh, I guess it doesn't do that. No. There we go. I thought it. I, I might have been wrong. It, it probably. It was probably just a, a mistake in there. All right. So the shoe does pivot, and you could take an Allen key and adjust the uh, the shoe itself. All right. So let's see how well this does against metal. All right. So ready, go. Do one more. Let's do speed uh, one. All right, so ready, go. All Though that blade got dull quick. Alrighty, so this thing is a beast. Let's see what the temperature is. 74, 78, 85, 90. 95 degrees is the highest point. So yeah, this thing is awesome. I like how slim the front is when it comes to where your hand actually goes because you don't feel like you're grabbing something huge. And so yeah, this thing is a beast. I like the way that they have the speed adjustment. In the future, we are gonna do a versus video between the Milwaukee Super Sawzall against the Makita 36 volt saw, brushless saw, recip saw. So this thing's a beast as well. Now the difference between this and this, this has an, uh, an orbital feature which I do not believe the Makita has. This thing is seriously awesome. I already put it up on my wall. So that's pretty much it. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.